this goes back to the creative art you talked about art we create and we may not realize this i literally just told my daughter because she's an amazing artist that like never forget and i told this to her never forget that you're creating for yourself in the hopes that somebody might enjoy it but don't look for validation or whether somebody else will like it. It is your art, you know, and somebody who may not like it, there might be somebody else. And same thing with your, whatever you write, like a lot of people might start a book or start a project and never finish it because of that. You know, what if somebody doesn't like it, there's, you know, or start a business or start a podcast and, and there's going to be plenty of people that don't like it, but there's going to be plenty of people that do love it and lives are changed by it. What motivated me to write it was like when I went down the aisles into the bookstores and even looked on Amazon for a book that I wanted to write. I still this day, I don't really haven't seen a man who's written about the the way I write my book about, you know, male child sexual abuse, trauma from my perspective and using it as a growth moment and seeing the gift in this pain, these painful experiences in my life. And so since then, it's just been great because I've been able to other men have opened up. I've, I've talked to at least four people who have written books because of my book and some of the things that I've said, you know, some high earning entrepreneurs who, you know, they never looked at like something I talk about in my first book is how time is your greatest resource and, and time and time is um, I, I, I basically can't compare time to money as far as like time is monetary in a way. And so like, if you start looking at everything in that perspective versus um, you know, in exchange, as opposed to just like actual monetary value, you'll start valuing more. So like, you know, what's it worth to play with your kids versus doing another hour on the computer and, and things like that. So again, I never thought I'd write a first, let alone a second, but that other, that the only reason the second book is because of the first, I never had an intention to, but people were reading it and they were finding more purpose and never thought they had a purpose or didn't realize what a purpose could be or as simple as a purpose could be. And then uh, but people are still struggling who have read that and it really helped them of like the aspect of joy, the aspect of joy and what that really means. And still like wanting to get out of bed or get up in the morning. And these are people you wouldn't even be like people that you wouldn't even think like, so, like Robin Williams is a great example. You